Wattpad has been an incredible company in the technology space. What interested you in working at Wattpad? One is there's an opportunity to touch the lives of 65 million people around the world on a global basis, on a monthly basis, and that's pretty compelling. Um, but when I moved to Toronto three years ago, I didn't know anybody. And I remember walking around the office and meeting a few folks and thinking, I would love to hang out with them. And it made a really big difference because I've been in many work environments where I didn't feel that way. And I was surrounded by these people who are smart and different and sassy and hardworking. Uh, and it was this opportunity that I didn't want to pass up because it was an opportunity to feel like I could be a part of this bigger network of people here. One of the interesting things about Wattpad is its commitment to diversity and inclusion. Is that something that you saw right away when you came in to meet with people there? Yeah, you know, it's, it's interesting. It's not that, uh, it wasn't like it was obvious in it by any way, but having worked my whole career in tech and seeing, sort of walking in and often seeing the ping pong table or bros or whatever it was, um, I walked in and I saw this, these group of people laughing, right? And the, it was, 56% of our uh, employee base is female. Um, didn't know that number when I walked in, but you can kind of sense that you're not the other when you're there. And so the commitment was very clear from day one, and the commitment is still very clear now. Uh, but it isn't always in your face, and it's the feeling that you have after working there for a little bit that you start to realize, oh, I can actually be myself here, and there's a lot of different people that surround me. How important do you think it is that we see more of that gender parity at technology companies? So critical. So it's, you know, being in lots of different technology businesses, I've been in 3D printing, I've been in mobile payments, I've been in uh, advertising platforms and networks, I rarely saw people that looked like me. And so when I'm in that position, it's not like anyone was actively uh, speaking out against me or women or anything like that, but when you don't see more people like you, it's hard to imagine where your career could go. And so, Having more women, having more people of color, having more people of different uh, backgrounds of sexual orientations, interests, is really critical for anyone who's trying to make it in technology because then they can see themselves reflected in the leadership team. And I think for me, the most important part of that is even when you see it, um, those people have to be their authentic selves. You can tell when someone's not being their authentic self and then you don't really aspire to be in that position. Uh, but what's been unique about Wattpad, what's been very fulfilling for me, is that I can be my authentic self when I'm at Wattpad, uh, which then should tell other people that this is a place for you, or you can be in a position of leadership in any position um, at a tech company. And so it's been pretty critical for me to see it, and it's something that I think is valuable for every technology company. I can imagine that it's especially essential at a company like Wattpad that uh, really roots itself in the story. You know, in order to tell stories that really cater to a worldwide audience, you should be able to reflect around the office and see some of those stories as well. Yes, yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, you know, we're, we're a very global company. Uh, and when I say 65 million people, it really is a global user base. And it's not only from a numeric perspective that it's diverse. We have so many different interests. Um, that are reflected in the stories themselves and in the authors and in the writers and in the readers and the community. And if you have a homogenous employee base, it's very hard to think about how they would ever relate to the thing that the 15-year-old girl in Pakistan is feeling and writing about. And so for us, it's been really valuable to put diversity and inclusion in the center of everything we do because it's in the center of literally our business. In many technology companies, there are stories of women who have risen to the top who share stories about who moved the dial for them. What's your story? So um, I had a mentor in my first job out of university. I was a management consultant at Accenture. And this person took an active interest in my development, in my career, and in my skills. Um, but there, he gave me two pieces of advice that I give to everyone I meet nowadays. Uh, and the first was treat everyone at the table uh, as your peers. And that gave me a permission that I needed to speak up, which I needed at that time. And then um, the second was he shared with me what my strengths were. And I think we oftentimes think about mentorship as helping you, you know, work on your weaknesses. Well, he knew my strengths and he told me what that was. And it gave me confidence to build on that. Uh, and so he helped move the dial for me substantially. Uh, and now I have mentors in all different ways. And I think that's how mentorship is nowadays, where you seek from individuals who are great at speaking or individuals who are great at analytics and you're getting mentorship from them for individual pieces of who you try to be. And that's 
critical to provide that mentorship and to receive it as well.